Hi, it's me Tina Amir and welcome to my channel. So for today, we're gonna learn very simple lesson, which is insects. Before I start, please pay attention to the formal pronunciation. Formal pronunciation means that's exactly the basic of pronunciation which been been taught. But somehow we have informal pronunciation, which we normally say when we speak. So you can say that we speak a little bit different than what we've actually been taught officially. Insects in Malay is serangga. Serangga. But serangga is from a pronunciation. When you speak, you don't say something like that. You say serangga. This is informal pronunciation. And first insect we have here is termites. Termites in Malay is anai anai. Same formal and informal pronunciation. Anai anai. And then we have scorpion. Formal pronunciation is kala jengki. Kala jengki. But when you speak, you don't say that. You say informal pronunciation, kala jengki. Kala jengki. And then red ant, kerengga. Formal pronunciation, kerengga. Informal pronunciation, kerengga. Kerengga. And then we have here like we say pinggang kerengga. So, pinggang kerengga is very tiny waist. And then big hips. So, we call here pinggang kerengga. The next insect is beetle. Beetle, same formal and informal pronunciation, kumbang. Kumbang. And then we have horn beetle. Horn beetle is kumbang tandu. That's formal pronunciation. Kumbang tandu. Informal pronunciation, kumbang tandu. Kumbang tandu. Next is millipede. Millipede in Malay is mentibang. Mentibang. This is formal and informal pronunciation. Mentibang. But somehow Malay will say ulat gonggo. Formal pronunciation is actually ulat gonggo. But we don't say ulat gonggo. We say ulat gonggo. This is informal pronunciation. Ulat gonggo. And then we have worm is Formal pronunciation, cha ching, cha ching. But informal pronunciation, cha ching, cha ching. Next is moh. Moh is in Malay formal and informal pronunciation, ngengat, ngengat. Some people here call ngengat kupu kupu, but I think that's not really correct because kupu kupu also butterfly, just like rama rama. But that's his formal pronunciation. Informal pronunciation, rama-rama. Kupu-kupu, same formal and informal pronunciation. Rama-rama, formal pronunciation. Informal pronunciation would be rama-rama. So they are butterfly, just kupu-kupu, less attractive. And rama-rama or rama-rama or rama-rama is more attractive and more colourful. Next is centipede. Centipede in Malay is... Lipan, lipan. So, lipan, same formal and informal pronunciation. Next is we have an formal pronunciation, semut, semut. But we don't say semut, we use informal pronunciation, semut, semut. And then we have fire ants, fire ants, formal pronunciation, semut api, semut api. Informal pronunciation, Semut api. Semut api. And then we have ladybird. Ladybird, actually if you direct translate, lady is female, right? Bird is burung. But ladybird in Malay, this is formal pronunciation. Kumbang kura kura. Kumbang kura kura. But informal pronunciation, kumbang kura kura. So, kumbang kura kura, kumbang is beetle, kura kura is tortoise. But anyway, Malay normally prefer to use ladybird compared to kumbang kura kura because it's too long. And plus some other thing, Malay also prefer like to use English compared to Malay. Like rama rama, some people say butterfly instead of rama rama. But some people also like to use rama rama. Okay, next we move on to lies. Lies is same formal and informal pronunciation, kutu, kutu. So we have here, this is something cultural here, we have main kutu. Main is play, kutu is lies. 
we don't play with the lies. Don't misunderstand. My kutu actually involving a small group of people who intend to buy something, maybe expensive, or they wanted to save money. And then they main kutu to get this money, but according to the terms. And then you have somebody in the group we call mak kutu. Mak is mother. Mother of the kutu. Mother of the lies. It's not what you mean like insect, no. Just we call her or him a mak kutu because she's the one responsible for collecting the money and give the money according to the terms. So, for example, this month we collect 50 from 10 members. So, one person will get 500 for this month and the next person will get another 500 for next month and until it finish, until everybody gets the money and we finish the turn. In a way, if you know everybody in the group and if you close with one another and everybody trustable or is only involving small sum of money, is in a way, it's very good because you can get what you want, you can buy what you want and it can also help you to save money. But anyway, it's super tricky because it needs everybody to be responsible and trustworthy because it happened in certain cases, a mak kutu run away with all the money or ahli kutu, ahli is member, member of the kutu didn't pay for the turn. We main kutu, culturally even during my time, since we are very young, in school, in workplace, some people even main kutu through online with people from different areas. But according to the law, it's not allowed because imagine if company wanted to run the money from the public, you know, based on my kutu, what happened if the company cheat and run away with that? So the public will be at loss and nobody going to replace that money, of course, especially if police couldn't catch the culprit. Well, everything has its pros and cons. And that's about kutu. So if you want to say head lies, in Malay, formal pronunciation would be kutu kepala. Kutu kepala. Kepala is head. But in formal pronunciation, kutu kepala. And then we have spider. Spider, same formal and informal pronunciation, labah-labah. But somehow Malay prefer to use the word spider more than labah-labah. Because labah-labah is too long. Labah-labah. So we prefer to use spider. And then we have housefly. Housefly or fly is la la, la la. Same formal and informal pronunciation. Then we have b, b is lebah, lebah. Same formal and informal pronunciation. Then we have dragonfly, dragonfly. Formal pronunciation would be pepatung, pepatung. But informal pronunciation, which we say when we speak, pepatung, pepatung. And then next is Cockroach in Malay is lipas. Same formal and informal pronunciation. And then we have grasshopper, belalang. Same formal and informal pronunciation, belalang, belalang. And then we have bak, bak we call pijat or pepijat. Same formal and informal pronunciation, pepijat and also pijat. And then we have caterpillar. Caterpillar is ulat bulu. Ulat bulu. Same formal and informal pronunciation. Bulu actually means fur. And then we have sek worm. Sek is sutera or sutera. Worm is cacing. But sek worm is ulat sutera. This is formal pronunciation. Informal pronunciation is ulat sutera. And then we have wops. Wops in Malay, formal Malay pronunciation is tebuan. Tebuan, if you spell properly. But informal pronunciation, it would be tebuan. Tebuan. And then we have leech. Leech, we have two types of leech. Pachat and also linta. Pachat live on the land and linta live in the water. And same formal and informal pronunciation, pachat. Linta. Then we have mosquito. Mosquito is nyamu. This is formal pronunciation. Nyamu. Informal pronunciation is nyamu. Nyamu. And then we have praying mantis. Praying mantis we call mentada. 
same formal and informal pronunciation. And it's common for all Malays. If we see mantis, pray mantis, then we ask that pray mantis, mentadak, mentadu, macam mana aku tidur? So, mentadak, mentadu, just a rhythm. Mentadak is pray mantis, mentadak, mentadu, is a rhythm for that. And then, macam mana? Macam is like, mana, actually means where. Macam mana is very informal for speaking, which means how, bagaimana. But we normally say macam mana, instead of we say bagaimana. So, macam mana, aku, I, very harsh, but please watch my pronoun video so you don't use the wrong pronouns for everybody. Tidur is sleep. Actually, tidur, formal pronunciation. But informal pronunciation, tidur. So, mentadak mentadu, macam mana aku tidur? Or you can also ask your friend how she sleeping. Mentadak mentadu, macam mana Lily tidur? Then, mentadak mentadu will act in certain way. That's how it is. We just play with the insect. I guess that's all for our lesson. Thank you so much for watching me. And if you like my video, please check out my Patreon page so that I can have more time to make more videos. And thank you very much again for watching me and see you again in the next video. Thank you. Bye.